Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your rooted Nexus 6P from the MHC 19i build of Android. So the first uh, first of March update pretty much uh, to the MH, MHC 19Q which is the April 2nd update because no one would believe them if they have released it on the 1st April would they? So today I'll be showing you how to do that while whilst maintaining root. So I have SuperSU here no thanks. You can see it works and it tells us our binaries are actually installed. And so today I'll be showing you how to update this to the latest um, build of Android. So to get started we're going to need a couple things here. We're obviously going to need our Android Tools folder which contains all our ADB EXEs, uh, fastboot.exe and the two DLLs. So you're going to need that. But if you already have it, don't worry about it. Next up we're going to need the factory image for it of course. Now just down here. All you need to do is download this one the MHC19Q, there's a link, just click on it to download. So that's two files already, and of course we need the latest TWRP, it's always good to check, so in this case it's 3.0.2-0. Um, if there is a later version later, then please download the latest version. And of course we need SuperSU, and the latest one is 2.71 in its beta stage. So go ahead and download all four of those files, so we have our SuperSU, our TWRP, factory image, and of course our Android tools if we need them, platform tools if they're called otherwise and all I want you to do is kinda make sure you got everything together so I'm gonna make a new folder inside my D drive I'm gonna name it Android and just place everything in there so once everything is downloaded just place them all in one folder to make it easier for ourselves and we'll start from there alright so your folder should be looking a little bit something like that with our Android tools, our factory image SuperSU and our version of TWRP right there. So what we need to do now is open up Android Tools. It's just a little zip file and bring it from our other monitor. And we're just going to drag all those four files outside to extract them. So now it starts to look a little bit more cluttered. We can close that uh, window here. We'll just close that. And we have our SuperSU and our TWRP and our stock image. So we're going to open up this as well. Might take a little while because it's so big. There we are, and we are going to just extract everything. So open up that folder, the MHC19Q, and we're going to extract all these files, just drag it out. Just like that, and we're going to do some multitasking while we're at it. So what I want you to do is uh, plug in your phone. Just plug it into your computer using the provided USB-C to USB-A cable. And also make sure that you've got it to USB transfers, file transfers on there. You set your phone down and then we're going to go back into our 6P and all we're going to do is move this side by side. And we're going to move the Android, so whoop, no sorry, the SuperSU zip and we're just going to copy that to our phone. I already have one down here, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to paste it, so you can see it's down there, right there. Alright, so that's what you need on your phone. And of course, if you have Exposed, you want to copy the Exposed Framework Installer to your device as well. And also, if you're running Multi-ROM, you want to do some other steps here, but currently I'm not running Multi-ROM, so I can't really show you, though I have done it in a previous video. I'll find that later. But copy whatever you need to flash um, back into your internal storage. If you already got it somewhere like in your downloads or something or another folder then that's alright as long as you got your SuperSU which is probably the main thing that you'll need and expose the exposed framework installer if you need exposed. So once you got that covered we can close that and you can see we can also close this and now we're gonna see a folder I mean a zip file named image angular mhc 19q.zip I'm going to open that up as well, and you can see we have all these files. We're going to need the boot image, the cache, uh, not the recovery, system, not user data, and vendor. We're going to need all four of those. So you can use control to and select those files individually, and just drag it out so we can extract it. Note that our system image is probably by far the largest one, and will thus take a little bit longer. So why not we prepare further? 
I want you to grab your phone and turn it off. Just turn it off, right. And we're going to reboot our phone into the bootloader now to kind of start our flashing process while we're at it. So that's it. And all you need to do is, of course, hold the power and volume down at the same time, and that'll get you into the bootloader. Ah, just like so. Alrighty, so once that's in there, you can just leave it at start or whatever, and just plug in your phone. Just like that. And we can set that down. And now all we need to do, so now we've extracted all our images, this might take a little bit longer. So all you need to do now is hold the shift key and right click anywhere on an empty spot, and you want to select open command window here down at the bottom, very important. And you can see this uh, command window pops up with D Android. And what we're gonna do is just leave it side by side so we can see all the files here. And of course our command uh, window over here. I've just made a white on uh, black on white so it's easy to see and that the camera doesn't go out of focus. So once your device is in the bootloader mode, like so, we can now start. So first off, we're gonna type in fast boot devices just to make sure our device is here. And if you can't see it there, right click on your start menu, go to device manager, and just check that you don't see anything like uh, unknown device or Android device with a little exclamation mark. Uh, you want to install the drivers for that. So all you need to do is download them from Google. I have this in another video. But rest assured, you probably already have these things installed if you, if you want to update your rooted device anyway. So now we're going to update our bootloader first. So we're going to type in fastboot. I'm going to type in flash bootloader, leave a space on the end here, and we're going to drag in the bootloader image just right onto the command prompt, just like that. And all you need to do is hit enter, and that's pretty quick. We're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader. So we're going to type in fastboot, reboot, dash bootloader. No need to leave a space at the end, and just hit enter. And your device should go black for a second, and then go back into the bootloader. The next thing we want to flash is the radio, so we're going to type in fastboot, flash, radio, leave a space in the end, and drag in our radio image, hit enter, and that should send it quite quickly. Now it's done, we're going to reboot again, but this time uh, you can hit the up arrow key on your keyboard twice to go back two previous commands, and just hit enter, or you can type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader again, uh, like we did before, and once your device is back in the bootloader, we're going to start by flashing the latest boot image. So we're going to type in fastboot flash boot, leave a space in the end again, and drag in that boot image, hit enter. Now that's done, we're going to flash the cache image. Now uh, we're going to type in flash, uh, fast boot, flash cache, with an H, and leave a space in the end, and drag that image in. Now the other thing we're going to do now is the system image. So I'm going to type in fast boot, oh, fast boot, flash uh, system, leave a space in the end of course, and you want to drag in the system image, once more, hit enter. Now this will take the longest out of all of them, because of its the size of it, and so we're going to wait here, it should take about only a minute or two. Alrighty, so now it's finished, and the last thing we want to flash is the vendor image. So again, we're going to type in fastboot, flash, vendor, Leave a space on the end. We're dragging our vendor image. Then we're going to hit enter. And we're done. And last thing we want to flash is, of course, the latest TWRP recovery. So we're going to type in fastboot flash recovery. Recovery. We're going to leave a space in the end again. And just drag in that TWRP image. Hit enter. And that should do it. So, what next? We're gonna go to our phone. We can unplug the cable, of course. And this is what we wanna do. We wanna hit volume down twice, so it says recovery mode. Press the power button to select it. And we're going to wait for this to boot into TWRP. There we are. So this is gonna ask for your pattern or pin or password. Now, this is not your Google password. Um, this is your lock screen um, pattern or pin or password. So mine's just a simple pattern like that. 
So just enter in your password there, or passcode, screen lock, and it's gonna decrypt your data partition, which is absolutely something that we need. And this is where you're going to, going to install SuperSU or our exposed framework. So we're gonna tap install, and we're gonna scroll all the way down to our SuperSU, uh, swipe to flash. And you can see it's going to install SuperSU, patch our boot image while we're at it, and do some script. And it's done. So, we're almost done. Now this one does modify the system, so you won't be, you probably won't be using Android Pay after this. Uh, but if you can get one of those systemless ones, then uh, I would 100% recommend doing that if you incline on using Android Pay. Now we don't need to wipe the cache, and uh, you want to go back. Oops, you want to go back if you want to flash the exposed framework as well. But I don't need exposed at, at the moment, so we're gonna just gonna reboot the phone right then and there, and we're gonna wait for this to turn on. You know, fun stuff. So there will be a few boot loops, maybe one or two, and you'll the boot up should only take about less than five minutes. And by the end, we should be able to see that um, we're rooted on the latest update. So I'll probably skip through all this because this is extremely boring to watch. And you just let it flow. If it hangs a lot, then you might want to wipe the cache from recovery. I already felt a vibration, so it's probably going to ask me for my pattern very soon. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this. It's very fast. We enter our pattern. And there will be probably another boot up for this. Yep, there we go. So it's going to crash once, and it's going to start again, and you're going to enter your pattern once more, I think. And then it'll go through normally. So I'll see you on the other side when my phone boots up. Alrighty, so finally it's done. And as you can see, when we boot up, we're greeted by our launcher. We can scroll down. You can see my Pebble's already connected, so nothing's been erased or anything. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see that we're on the 2nd of April security patch. I'll just turn on the brightness here a little bit. And of course, we're on the MHC19Q. Now, oh, that's great and all that, but what about root access? Well, if we tap on SuperSU, we can definitely see that it is working. And by working, it means it should pretty much be all right to grant root access to things. So if we download a root checker or something, there we are, first on the list. We will use, oh whatever, we'll use the first one, we're going to install it, hopefully it won't take too long because I don't like waiting for things either. Okay, so, we're going to open that, and should ask for root access, yes, I agree, okay, ready, verify, and there we go. So that's been all good. As you can see, there is proof here that our device is rooted. Well, I'm sure I wouldn't lie to you guys anyway, but there are some skeptics in the world. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you have any more requests for tutorials, I'm all open for that. And I'll try my hardest to fulfill those, those needs. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.